Hi, you're watching TY Plus. I'm Vikas Singh, Executive Editor, Time of India News. And with me, Partho Bhaduri, the TY's cricket editor. Partho had also covered the 2022 T20 World Cup, and he was part of the ICC selection panel that picked the team of the tournament. So, Partho, welcome on board. Thanks, 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 Vikas. Today, thanks for... you have a slightly you know less challenging task, or a more challenging task. You only have to pick India's team for the World Cup. Yeah, it's a, it's a daunting task, <laughs> given uh, the number of contenders in the fray, so right. I'll need your help doing it. Absolutely. And uh, yes, it'll be fun. Uh, we've done this before, uh, before every major tournament. And uh, as always, the IPL throws up so many contenders, Absolutely. so many young stars, so many even out of form players who come into form later on. Right. It's, it's particularly interesting this time because the IPL is coming right before the World Cup. So there are a whole lot of questions that are going to be hopefully answered by the IPL. But there are also, you know, some, uh, I would say, concerns. For example, if you had to pick, say, an IPL 11 right now, based on what's happened so far, and then you have to pick an India 11, you might get slightly different answers. Yes. So for example, I think if you were to pick an IPL 11 right now, for your openers, you'd probably be tempted to go with, say, Virat Kohli and Abhishek Sharma. But I don't think that's going to be the opening no, partnership. No, 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 that isn't. Also, another dilemma is whether you pick a team which is an experienced team, mm. whether you go with players who may not be informed during the IPL, but mm. they they are the ones who have performed on the big stage earlier. Mm. And they have the gumption to deliver when it's needed most. Mm. And or whether whether you pick a young team, the mm. Abhishek Sharmas, and whether you pick a completely raw talent like the Mayank Yadavs. Oh. And so that is the dilemma we have. But. Uh, Partho, in fact, you were also there at the 2007 World yes, Cup, which yes. is the, you covered it for TY from yeah, South Africa yeah, and that yeah. remains the only T20 World Cup India has won so far. Yeah, and, uh, and it was a pretty young team that went there and new captain. Yes, new captain, couple of young players. But if you see, that team also had uh, some experience in, mm -hmm. say, Yuvraj Singh, mm -hmm. who performed at crucial moments. Then you had Sehwag in the squad mm -hmm. and uh, you also had Irfan Pathan. Mm -hmm. And of course, you had Dhoni who turned out to be something else entirely, who was True. a natural at his job. Yeah. And also because India's ICC trophy cabinet has been bare. Mm. So the selectors are under pressure to deliver a team which can actually win the tournament. Right. So that complicates their task. Right. So let's let's start with uh, picking the squad. Uh, what I'd suggest is let's first look at the first 11 and then we'll kind of look at the extra four. And then if you yeah. want, we can also pick three travelling reserves since, you know, they will allow you to carry three travelling yeah, reserves yeah, along. Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, they can change the squad till May 25. They are mm -hmm. allowed to pick the squad on May, till May 1, they have to pick the squad. Right. But till May 25, they can keep making changes. So whoever is performing well in the IPL, it can be like a rotating cast of characters. Right. So that adds to the fun element of selection. But I wanted to ask you one thing. Mm. The choice of Rohit Sharma as captain, mm. how okay are you with that? Ah, well, I think if you'd asked me that same question, say, a year ago, uh, you know, there might have been a different answer. In fact, I think uh, Mumbai Indians probably didn't expect Rohit to be, you True. know, captaining India for this tournament. And I, I really wonder if they could have looked ahead and foreseen that Rohit would be captaining India to this tournament, would the Hardik deal still have gone ahead? Yes, exactly. Because so, I remember when India lost in the semi-final to England mm -hmm. in Australia in the 2022 World Cup, it was uh, being touted as the end of the road in T20s for both Virat and Rohit mm. and also Dravid in a way. But uh, they've luckily got another lifeline. Mm. Uh, India obviously feels that they are our safest bet to bring another trophy home. Mm. Uh, so, but once you pick Rohit, then you have to pick Virat. Is that mm. how you look at it? Yeah, I think so. I think also, you know, to some extent, Rohit has really changed his batting style around. We saw that during the ODI World Cup. Uh, he doesn't try to anchor anymore. He pretty much, you know, starts with his shots from ball one. And uh, while he hasn't been the among the highest scorers in the IPL so far, he has shown a certain degree of to use that much used word intent. Yes. So uh, I think uh, Rohit is pretty much a given, and you know, also I think given Hardik's injury history, I think for a long time the feeling was that Hardik would be captaining this team. But then given his injury in the World Cup and the long stint for which he was out, and the sort of uncertainty that surrounds him, I think they. They needed a safe captain and they had to go back to Rohit. Yeah, you're right. I think it's a pragmatic decision because when you have Rohit Sharma around mm. and willing to play and willing to have another go at an ICC trophy, then it's best to make him captain. Mm. And he's also your opener. Like you said, he uh, he plays selflessly, uh, which sets the tone for the whole team. Mm. 
So, okay, we've started with the captain. Okay, so um, you have Rohit as opener and who will be batting with him? Will it be… Uh, Jaiswal slash Gil. Gil. Yeah. Okay. But let's pencil in Jaiswal first. Okay. Uh, because he's come up through the T20 ranks and mm. uh, uh, he's an impact player at the top of the order. And of course, you need Gil in there too, but uh, Jaiswal hasn't got going at all in the IPL so far. So, that's one area of concern. But for the moment, let's uh, pencil in Jaiswal. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I think he also had a very good uh, year last year and he's coming off a fabulous test series against England. So, I think he has a large amount of goodwill and you know, it will take a really, really bad stretch to deplete that goodwill. So, probably Rohit and Yashasvi and they're also a left-right combo which helps. Uh, so, you have one and two sorted. Virat is obviously your number three, you know, he's Virat, also Virat batting well. Virat is number three, he's batting well, he's anchor and aggressive both. Yeah, and he's, he's striking at 146 yes. at this IPL, which is uh, quite good for him. Yeah, I know, nobody can accuse him of uh, playing for, uh, playing as an anchor or, mm. you know, playing in the low mid-30s. So, this time he has really, really done well. The problem has been the lack of support in the RCB order. And hopefully, once he gets among the runs, he'll be good to go in the T20 World Cup. Also, uh, because when you pick a team for World Cups, then uh, there's only, uh, you go by current form only to a certain extent. Mm. Uh, otherwise, you go by pedigree, you go by experience. You need those sort of players who can deliver in crunch situations without feeling the pressure or those who can embrace the pressure, those who have the experience. So, these factors come into play. Uh, so, that will also be a factor when it comes to the middle order. Hmm. So, now that you've started with Kohli, who do you follow? Do you follow with uh, Pant or do you follow with Surya Kumar? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Surya will, uh, well, he just uh, came back to the side and obviously it wasn't the best return he got for a dark. But again, given that he is the world's top ranked T20 batter, I think he is an automatic pick even if he's a bit rusty and it takes him a little while to get going. Uh, I would be tempted to maybe, you know, look at Riyan Parag or Shivam Dubey also for that number four slot. Especially because uh, West Indies pitches are going to take a lot of spin and Shivam is probably your best spin hitter right now. But uh, I think the selector, Rajit Agarkar and his, uh, you know, team, I think will finally plump for Surya at number four. So Which Surya, your spot is safe. <laughs> Even if you don't play in the IPL, you're not going anywhere. We need you for the T20 World Cup. Right. Which brings us to the wicketkeeper debate. You know, you did mention Pant at four. Uh, I think Pant, if he's fit and if he stays fit till the end of the IPL, will, you know, walk into the team at five. Though, I think uh, you don't really get the best out of Pant at five. Probably, you know, Jitesh is a better bet over there. He's but a better six-hitter maybe from the yeah. get-go. But I think, uh, again, Pant will, it will probably be Pant and the backup keeper could possibly be Jitesh. Just just to interrupt you here, mm -hmm. because uh, interestingly, Saurav Ganguly, uh, the director of Delhi Capitals, director of cricket, he was asked uh, mm -hmm. two days back about Rishabh Pant being in the World T20 team. And he said, I'd advise caution and mm -hmm. I'd like to wait for two more weeks, mm -hmm. although he's fit. Right. So, uh, yeah, he's coming off a bad injury and the IPL, there's a fair amount of wear and tear, so even if he gets to the tournament completely, will that, you know, will he be in good enough shape to get through another Another problem for the selectors is, it's such a short tournament that you can't really pick more than two wicket keepers. Right. So, you, if Pant is fit, he'll be expected to play mm. and if he breaks down, then there'll be just another wicket keeping option, maybe. Mm. But mm. if they had gone with somebody who was expected to bat through the 15-20 days of the tournament, mm then they could have dispensed with an additional wicket-keeping choice as well. Mm -hmm. So, we'll yeah. come to that. I think yeah. in the in the wicket-keeping stakes, I, I always feel for Sanju Samson. Yes, you know? definitely. I, think, I was coming to that. Yeah. yeah. I feel uh, he's one guy who's consistently got a bit of a raw deal. Yes. Uh, possibly because, you know, he always starts off IPL very well, but sort of his consistency tapers off. But, but I feel that's also because he tries to play according to the interests of the team. Mm. And uh, you might notice that Rajasthan Royals are winning, but uh, Sanjo is not scoring runs. Right. Also, you get a tactical guy on board. But, uh, he's very good with his tactics. Even this year, he's been captaining pretty well. Mm. And uh, as a wicketkeeper, you have another strong uh, tactics guy uh, as well. So, uh, the way he is playing and captaining right now, uh, if it was anybody apart from Sanju Samsung, it would have been automatically penciled it into that score. Mm. But uh, as with some, uh, we know with some players, yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, I also 
think this, you know, his tragedy in a sense has been that he's always expected to bat at five and six, but he always does his best work at, you know, number three. Yeah, number three. If you if you look at the last match he played for India, it was an ODI in South Africa and he scored a century batting at number three, which was one of the rare occasions he actually got to bat in the top order. So, so it happens in every generation. You get like. You can't uh, bat Sanju at three and make Kohli sit out. That's so, true. Yeah, That's true. So, so it's about consistency, delivering at the crunch moment. So, so, so this debate will go on. I mean, even during the tournament, uh, we'll be expecting to come back to this debate. Yeah. So we have penciled in how many names so far? We have, we have Gavrit, top five: Jaiswal, Virat, uh, Virat, Surya, Virat, Surya, Rishabh for now. Rishabh for now. Okay. Followed by Hardik Pandya. Yeah, I think. Uh, Given that you're not going to have impact players at the World Cup, uh, I think Hardik… I think it's time they should bring that <laughs> in too. <laughs> I think, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Maybe they will, you know, where the IPL goes, ICC tends to follow. So, maybe a couple of years down the line it will. But right now, it's not there. And I think, uh, you know, team managements have got very used to the flexibility that uh, the impact player provides. And suddenly you realise that uh, you need to have an all-rounder and, you know, for all the hostility that Hardik has been subjected to, he still remains India's best all-rounder. So, I think he'll, he'll sort of walk in at six. The problem with this is that it doesn't allow you to play Rinku. No, I was suggesting why not follow Hardik with Rinku? Yeah, because then you would only have five bowlers including Hardik and that is risky. I okay. mean, it can be done but then you'd be expecting Hardik to bowl his full quota of followers yes. every single yes. match. And, you know, that's, that's a very chancy proposition. Okay, so we have Hardik, another one injury prone player followed by another. Right. Pant after uh, Pandya after Pant. And then we come to the prickly question of Ravindra Jadeja, who is normally walks into the squad, wins you matches, wins you tournaments, wins you games, but lately hasn't looked the part. Does that matter? Oh, uh, I, you know, I think if you ask me honestly, I think Aksar Patel is a sort of better bet for T20s. You know, Jadeja's the better player for ODIs and Tests, but I think in T20s, Aksar shades Jadeja right now. But, you know, equally people will point to last year's final, where yes. he sort of delivered 10 runs of the last two balls to win CSK the title. Um, so you kind of. Also, also, he's so economical with the ball mm. that you just throw him the ball and you know you'll have a couple of quiet overs at least. Yeah. So. Uh, Okay, then. Uh, Actually, they're, they're very alike in, in, in many ways. You know, both Jadeja and Aksar, they're both gun fielders. They both give you four tight economical overs and uh, they're both capable of hitting the long ball. And maybe that's the problem. They're too that similar. Is yeah, the problem. Yeah. So, when you have two very similar skill sets, you pick experience, you, pick, uh, you tend to pick the player who's done it all before. Right. So, that means that you now have Jadeja in at seven, which leaves you now with your bowling. So. <laughs> Three pacers and a spinner, or two pacers and two spinners. Two pacers and, and two, spinners. two spinners. No, three pacers and two spinners. Three pacers. Okay. So Bumrah's obviously one. Bumrah's one, and then uh, I'm kind of tempted to pencil Mayank Yadav in, but he had a side strain yesterday, so we've seen that uh, he may be prone to injuries, and we still don't know much about him. But he's such an exciting prospect. Yeah. And and uh, and the very thought of Mayank and Bumrah bowling. Uh, Together, together yes. is, uh, is it's a very tempting I, I think so too, you know, even though I think a lot of uh, veterans advise that you shouldn't rush someone or fast track someone into the India squad and let them play a season. But I think in the case of fast bowlers, at least you need to make an exception. Uh, you know, fast bowlers tend to be uh, sort of uh, injury prone. So, if there is one who is fit and firing and in form, then you play him right then and there. You know, you don't sort of wait for a year when Absolutely. he sort of had an injury, is down on pace, down on confidence, and then you play him. You play him when he's ready. Absolutely, and and that's what many experts too have been suggesting. Mm. And uh, and uh, all the buzz around Mayank, even somebody like Stuart Broad said the other day mm. that uh, I can see his seam position, and I know that he is going to succeed in all formats. Yeah. So so he's got his line and lengths right. He's mm. got his speeds right. He's. Uh, He's exciting the world of pace bowling, not only us Indians. So, mm -hmm. yes, definitely, let's pencil him in for now. Okay. And let's see where we go with this. Right. So, so you have one third pacer slot available. Ideally, someone who can, you know, swing the ball 
initially and then maybe bowl at the death maybe as well. Arshdeep with slightly different trajectories. Right. Because Siraj, uh, what do you think of Siraj in T20? Has he um, okay, I think Siraj has suffered a bit from the fact that he plays a lot of his matches at Bangalore, which is sort of a bowler's graveyard. Yeah. But even otherwise, apart from the odd one or two spells, he hasn't really done all that much in, in T20, I think. Um, I think... You know, and also he comes across as uh, having limited arsenal in T20s, yeah. his cross seamers and stuff like that. Right. So, but then again, uh, dropping Siraj altogether from the squad uh, mm. is a bold move. But, uh, so let's do it for now and see whether it gets us. Yeah, I think Arshdeep also brings you that left hand angle and he's uh, played a lot of matches. Yes. And you also, know, you've, you've it, invested a lot of time and effort. Yes, in him, and the so. gap between the previous World Cup and this one, he's played, I think, more than 90% of India's T20 games. Mm. So, across uh, surfaces. So, yes, Ashdeep should be there. Right. Bumrah, uh, Mayank is the X Factor. We've right. penciled in for now. And what do you think about Kundi? Uh, because he's the only attacking uh, spin bowler option as of now. Or Chahel. Or Chahel or Bishnoi. Or oh, Bishnoi. I think, uh, yeah, Kuldeep, I think right now, over the last one year or so, has edged ahead. Uh, but uh, Chahel, I think, has been outstanding in this uh, IPL. And Kuldeep's also resting a bit right now. So. The the question of Yuzvendra Chahel is similar to the dilemma with Sanju Samson. Yes. Like, because you've kept him for so many years, you've seen what he's capable of, you've mm. dropped him, you've decided to move beyond him. And now he is coming back and showing you that, well, maybe it wasn't such a good choice, uh, dropping him from the plans altogether. Yeah, so Partho, here's a question. You know, if uh, if you go and you find that uh, the pitches are low turners and they're spinning. Especially in the Caribbean. Especially in the Caribbean. Uh, yes. Then, you know, why not sort of bring back Ujja? Yes, yes, definitely. That's and then you'd have you'd have Bumra and Maya, you'd have Hardik. So, you'd have yes. three pacers. Provided Hardik bowls his full quota. No, even if he doesn't bowl his full quota, if you have Hardik as your third pacer and you have Jadeja and Ulcha, you have six bowlers. So you've sort of covered all bases. Yes, especially on the low, slow turn and the, right. yeah, of the Caribbean pitches. But the pitches in the US are complete unknowns. Mm -hmm. So they, some of them might be drop-in pitches as well. So there you might need more pace bowlers. Right. So these are the variables which are interesting going into this tournament. So, but... Uh, so the other option is, I mean, you pick your three pacers, let's say Arshdeep, Mayank and Bumra, and you have one of Kuldeep and Chahel, and whoever is not playing is in the larger 15. So depending on the pitch, you can play around with your combo a bit. So suppose you had to pick an 11 first mm -hmm. uh, as a statement mm -hmm. of intent going right. into the tournament. Right. Say against Ireland, a game you know mm -hmm. you're going to win, your first right. game, India's first game. So what's the 11? Like from after Pandya, mm -hmm. Uh, we have so Jadeja, Jadeja right. then maybe we have Bumra and Mayank. Yeah. So that's how many? 8, 9, then nine. Kuldeep at 10. Kuldeep at 10. And Arshdeep at 11. Arshdeep at 11. Yeah. So now among the, since we can pick 4 more in the squad, so among the reserve batters, I'd say Shubman. Shubman definitely. Shubman uh, because, because if Jaiswal doesn't get going, then hmm. that's an easy swap. Yeah. So among the reserve bowlers, uh, Maybe Chahel, since Chahel isn't an I-11 right now. Okay, since we're talking about this, what's your take on Bishnoi? The fast Google is... Um, between Chahel and Bishnoi, and I think you can only pick one, between Chahel and Bishnoi, I'd be tempted to go with Chahel still. I think okay, he's given his current form. And given his current form, and also, if you, if you look at his body of work in the IPL, he is... Uh, uh, Probably the best Indian spinner in the IPL. Definitely, but and and although I don't uh, personally subscribe to this criticism, but mm. there's this uh, view even among selectors, even among BCCI people that he can't bat and can't field. Mm. So that goes against him. So yeah. how crucial is that as an issue? I mean, <laughs> because Kuldeep has improved his batting. Yes. Although we still don't know if he can hit sixes, we definitely know. Yeah, he's a bat. very good test batter now. Yeah, yeah, we saw in yeah. the England series. So it's happening. So it's sure. coming. It's yeah. coming. <laughs> yeah, it's a good. On the on the flip side, uh, Bumrah's batting has come along quite nicely. Yes, he, he can he, he can hit too. Yeah. yeah. And in fact, uh, Deepak Chahar could maybe come into contention if they want a bowler who can bat, bat. at eight. 
In fact, without his injuries, he would have walked into the squad. Mm. One would have expected that by the time the squad is made, the player would have made a strong case for himself. Mm. But it hasn't exactly turned out that way. Also, you have players who played in the last World Cup uh, in 2022 who won't be there this time. So I guess there should be a uh, passing mention of, I think, at least four names I can recall. One is Dinesh Karthik. Yes. Uh, three names. One is Dinesh Karthik, one is Bhuvneshwar Kumar, mm. one is... Uh, Arshil Patel. Uh, no, Deepak Huda. Deepak Huda as well, yeah. yeah. No, I think and Ashwin also was there in yeah, the squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these players are not coming back even if they play well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, again, I kind of feel for Ashwin. I think, uh, you know, somehow there is this perception that his best is behind him in white ball. But, uh, you know, if you, if you look at how he's doing in the IPL, he's smart as ever, he's canny as ever. Uh, he is. To my mind, probably India's uh, most intelligent cricketer, maybe after the one. Yes, yes, and, you, and, uh, and in T20s, you need those uh, crazy tactical uh, guys yeah. around. So you yeah, need you those know, moments and, uh, of magic. You need to generate those. And, and never forget the the way he left that ball against Pakistan. Yes. you know, and it become a wide. He won you that, the game. He won you the game <laughs> won you for the game. all of Kohli's heroics. Yes. If Ashwin had not the presence <laughs> of mind. Yeah, absolutely. But absolutely. yeah, I think uh, his sort of. Uh, He'll feel hard done by, which he's felt all his own <laughs> career. <laughs> so, so, but we have only, uh, having settled on the 11, we have only one reserve player penciled in right now, which is Shubman Gill. Yeah, and I thought Shivam the, Dubey. No, so, okay, you'll need one reserve spinner as well, which right now Let's is go with Chahel. Chahel. Yes, definitely. And so uh, that's uh, 13. You'll need one if. Rishabh is your wicket keeper, you need one, one backup keeper. Now, this is back to that uh, yeah. debate uh, of Jitesh or Dhruv Jurel or Samson. Yeah, I mean. If you ask me, I will pick Samson for the moment. Yeah. I think Jitesh is not having a great IPL this time, but he's shown enough uh, skills to be a decent finisher. But I think uh, a lot will depend actually over the next few days on how all of them do. Jurel, unfortunately, is part of a Rajasthan Royal side which already has uh, Sanju yes. and Joss Butler. So, I don't think he's going to be keeping, but he's, a, he's yeah. shown that he can keep he's when he has shown that he can win you games, yes. yeah, at least in red ball cricket. So, this is the oddball dynamics of the IPL where right. you have players playing out of position. Right. So, not everybody is playing in the position they used to. Okay, the mm. Rohit Sharmas and Virat Kohli's carve their mm. own space. But yeah. the Dhruv Jurel, I think, made two, three more teams. Mm. IPL, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> we need two, three more teams where the French players can get the chance to shine yeah. and uh, to make a role their own. And um, that leaves you with one reserve slot, which could now either be Rinku Singh or it could be uh, another reserve pacer. Because right now you don't have any reserve pacers. Yeah, you need a reserve pacer. Mm. It would be really tough to be got Very tough. So this is the problem. Because you have Shivam Dubey as well. Yeah. Who is not in R11? And not getting into the 15 either. Would you be now? Now, now, now let's come to the tough questions, which I'm right. sure selectors talk about these things in private. And uh, that is, uh, if Hardik Pandya does he walk into your side? Can you replace him with Shivam Dubey, given the match mm. dynamics, game dynamics, if he's in the squad? Uh, I it's think it's a difficult if, one. If Hardik is fit, he will play. You know because. Uh, Shivam is more of a batter who can also give you one or two overs. Hardik, right now, is still the complete package. You know, if fit, he can give you four overs and he's a he's a good batter as well. So Hardik will be ahead of anyone else. But uh, between Shivam and Rinku, one of them should be in the should 15. be in the fifteen. But you can't drop uh, Gil. Yeah. Unless you decide to you know just go with one kid. No, that's or, or carry along a travelling a backup keeper as a travelling reserve. Travelling reserve, yeah, they can do that. I think they'll do that. Hmm. So they have 17 options in place. 18, 18. 18 options in place. And then they'll keep changing till May 25. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the, the three of the three travelling reserves, they will only come into the 15 if one of the original 15 drops out. Yeah. So say Mayank gets injured, right. then you need another pacer. Right. Say Pant gets injured, mm. then you need another wicket keeper. Another wicket keeper. Say Hardik gets injured, you don't have another seam bowling all rounder of that quality. Yeah, but then you'll sort of have to, you know, gamble on Dubey and hope he can give yeah, you one of the decent overs. Decent so if you if you have to, let's say Shivam comes in as one of the reserves and you get a 
keeper and a pacer among the reserves. Yes, I have loved love to play Rinku after Pandya mm. because that makes us a formidable finishing mm. uh, outfit. So Rinku can be in your 15 in any case. And, and then, then we can and toy with yeah. the options. And then we can toy with the options. So I think we are settled then. It's, 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 yeah. The 11 is, I think, pretty. Okay, so just to recap, uh, so 11 is going to be Rohit and mm. Jaiswal at 1 and 2, yeah. Virat at 3, Surya at 4. Then you have uh, Rishabh at 5, Pandya, Hardik Pandya at 6. Uh, Jadeja at 7. Uh, your three paces are Bumra, Ashdeep, and Mayank. And right now you have Kuldeep Yadav at Kuldeep. 11. And then you have Shubman and Rinku as your backup batters. You have uh, Chahel as your Chahel. backup spinner. And, and maybe Siraj. And maybe Siraj as your backup pacer. Siraj or Mukesh Kumar even. Yes. And Irfan Pathan had picked Mohsin Khan in his squad. Yeah, but I haven't really seen him play yeah, right he's, now. He's been injured for a while. I think uh, Mohsin's USP is really that he's a left-hander. Yeah. If you have Ashti, that sort of covers that place. Covers that place. So yeah, there, I think there we have it. And then maybe once closer towards selection day, we can sit again yes. and revisit this squad. And see From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.